So now that you know what HTML elements are and now that you know how to write one, let's look at a massively important aspect of HTML, which is the relationship between elements. The same way you can put text inside your elements, like we did with the P tag, you can also put elements inside other elements. And that's a very important feature of HTML, especially when it comes to designing layouts and that sort of thing. An element hosting another element is called a parent. What's inside it is called a child element. Any elements sharing a parent are called siblings. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. This whole family tree of elements sometimes is referred to as the DOM. The DOM is a powerful place where you can add and remove and, and manipulate HTML elements. There's a lot you can do with the DOM. A lot goes into building uh, a, a structure around your page. In fact, in a real HTML page, you don't just start adding paragraphs and headers and those things. There are a couple of main elements that you need to include first. The main one is HTML, big surprise. This sits at the root of your file, meaning this is the, the first ancestor, the, the parents to all the elements to come. Inside HTML, you have head and body. Head includes all the stuff that you don't see, just like your head, where nobody can see what's inside there, but there's a lot going on, I bet. In HTML, this is information regarding the page, uh, your meta tags uh, for, for search engines, uh, tags that will help you load JavaScript and CSS uh, into your page. And uh, you know we're gonna get to those things in a bit. What you probably care about right now is the body tag. That's where you put all the stuff that you see or the end user sees, including all the visual elements that we've been talking about, like paragraph and H1 and that stuff. One element can include many other elements inside it. So uh, let's, uh, let's add a few to, uh, to this file that we've been working on. So I'm gonna get rid of this uh, P tag that we had. I'm gonna add a, actually let's add the main structure, right? HTML, uh, any, a child inside HTML, uh, so we said head and body, right? Body. Um, any child inside a parent, um, usually what's common is that you, you press tab, so, so it indents by you know, two spaces or four spaces, uh, so it's easier to see who's, who hosts uh, how many children and that sort of thing. It just becomes a little easier to read. So inside the body, I'm going to add uh, a H1. I'm going to call this my homies. Underneath, I'm going to have, so let's actually check it. I'm going to go here, refresh my homies. Pretty good. Then I'm going to add a UL. Remember, a UL is an unordered list. Inside my UL, then I want to have some list items. So li is a list item. I'm going to add one. Um, actually, I have a bunch of homies. So I'm going to have Sam, Ben, Joey, and Leo. Cool. So you can see that all these li items are children of the UL. They're also each other's siblings. So let's save this go up, refresh, look at that. Uh, there are default styles, including these dots, that your browser just gives you by default. We can obviously overwrite these later with CSS, um, but just know that when you have ULs and LIs, you by default you get some styles. Shout out to my homies, uh, or as my fellow immigrant friends call it, uh, people from the same home, hashtag immigrant life, hashtag lost in translation. <laughs> so back to our file, you can see the H1 and the UL are also considered siblings because they're both children of the body. This parent-child relationship becomes extremely important when designing complicated pages like the, the GQ page we were looking at. So when designing a page, before you decide what tags you should use, you should really think about the relationship between the elements. And that's because different tags render differently. You saw the UL and the LIs had their own paddings. You can see they're not actually sitting at the 
uh, right at the left side, like the like the way the the H1 is. So every element renders differently, in, in particular how much space they take and how they relate to their neighboring parent or sibling or child. Next, we're gonna talk about another massively important aspect of HTML elements, which is their display type, which dictates how much space they, they actually take. So before we go, I wanna show you one more thing. If you go back to your HTML file, uh, and this you can do this on Safari and Chrome, uh, right click, on any of these elements and click inspect elements uh, this little thing comes up that's called your dev tools so chrome dev tools or safari dev tools and this guy actually shows you uh, your rendered html uh, really nicely so you can just hover over these with your mouse and it it uh, lights it up and it shows you where it starts and where it ends it's a pretty useful tool we're going to be using in the next videos okay so with that said um bye